All right, finally, a video on HIV therapy. In this video, we're gonna make HIV therapy extremely easy. Apparently, there are no good mnemonics on the internet for HIV therapy, which is why I've gotten so many requests from viewers to make this video. So here we go. Let's begin with this guy over here. This guy over here is going to teach us about the integrase inhibitors. Now, the integrase inhibitors don't really need a mnemonic because they all have Tegra in it. Integrase, Tegra, Bictegravir, Dalitegravir, Alvitegravir, Rautegravir, which reminds us of integrase, integrase inhibitors. And of course, they're called integrase inhibitors because they inhibit HIV genome integration into the host cell chromosome. The reason why we have this guy over here is because he is fat. Whoopsies, you're not allowed to use the word fat today. He is overweight, which reminds us that weight gain is an adverse effect of the integrase inhibitors. Now, he thinks he's a Calvin Klein model specifically, which is why he integrated the letters CK in his belly over here. CK for creatine kinase. Another adverse effect of integrase inhibitors is an increase in creatine kinase. So again, the integrase inhibitors may lead to weight gain and an increase in creatine kinase. And then we get to the protease inhibitors. And here we see a sign that says Nevir or Navir T's a protease. This reminds us that the protease inhibitors all have the word Navir in it. Atazanavir, Daronavir, Laponavir, and Ritonavir. Now, you might be really hungry for this candy on top of this sign over here. This candy has high sugar content. This reminds us of hyperglycemia. Protease inhibitors have the adverse effect of hyperglycemia. Well, as well as nausea and diarrhea. Diarrhea, as well as other GI symptoms, are other adverse effects of the protease inhibitors. There is one problem, however. You may have noticed this rifle over here that's shooting our sign. The rifle should remind us of rifampin, and the fact that our sign is gone should remind us that rifampin decreases protease inhibitor concentrations. And that's why patients who have HIV who are taking the protease inhibitors should not take rifampin. They should, they should take rifabutin instead. Now, before we move on to the entry inhibitors, I just want to make one more point. That ritonavir is actually a cytochrome P450 inhibitor, and therefore it can increase other drug concentrations by decreasing cytochrome P450. All right, now let's move on to the entry inhibitors. Now, I didn't tell you, but this is actually my classroom over here. HIV actually tried to come to the classroom today. Here we see HIV himself. We recall the structure of HIV, and in this scene, He's trying to use his car to get into the classroom, but I am not letting him. I am not allowing him entry into my classroom. I'm going to inhibit his entry. And how am I going to do that? Well, watch this. I'm going to take his car mirror over here and I'm going to turn it into a rock. Now, obviously with a mirror that's turned into a rock, you can't see anything. You can't even see the five fingers on your hand. I'm going to take this mirror and smash HIV. He's not very happy about this. Let's explain what's going on. Obviously, if I'm not letting him into the classroom, I'm not allowing entry. We're talking about the entry inhibitors. And the fact that I turned this mirror into a rock should remind us of Maravarock. Can't C5 should remind us of CCR5. That Maravarock specifically works by binding to CCR5. CCR5 is present on the surface of T cells and monocytes. So again, mirror rock for Maravarock and can't C5 for CCR5. Now there's actually another entry inhibitor that we need to be aware of, and fuviratide. And fuviratide inhibits fusion, that's easy, and fuviratide inhibits fusion. And it does this by binding to GP41. So let's call it N41 fuviratide. N41 fuviratide, that in fuviratide binds to GP41 to prevent viral entry. Alright, now let's talk about my favorite, the reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Over here we see the arrow, the reverse arrow, which of course reminds us we're talking about the reverse transcriptase inhibitors. And behind it we see this bunch over here. Let's take a look. So the dean came along. I guess he found out that HIV came to the classroom, so he came to try to help out. But he has lots of zits on him. Zits on your dean. I guess he likes to call himself your dean. But he has zits on his head. Zits on your dean for Zidovudine. Zidovudine is an NRTI. Now the dean didn't realize that he was actually about to crush this laminator over here the laminator that belonged to the dean. And it was laminating the U. Laminating U that belongs to the dean for lamivudine. Now the dean didn't realize that he was actually standing next to a backwards deer. A backwards deer for a back of ear. Here we see on the back of the deer, the M on its side. And the M on the side is holding a bean. So M on side with a bean for emtricitabine. And finally, on top of the deer, there are these 10 O's. 10 O for 10 Ophavir.
and RTIs are Zidovudine, Lamivudine, Abacavir, Emtricitabine, and Tenofovir. All of these drugs competitively inhibit nucleotide binding to reverse transcriptase and terminate the DNA chain. I just want to point out that tenofovir is a nucleotide, T for nucleotide, while the other ones are nucleosides. Now, you may recall that under the deer there were these random letters. HLAB 5071 is a danger. This is just to remind us that abacavir is contraindicated in patients who has an HLAB 501 mutation, and that's because there's an increased risk of hypersensitivity. Now, one more thing before we get to the NNRTIs, and that's that this arrow over here is actually crushing this random poster on the floor. This poster is showing a mountain lion. It's suppressing the mountain lion. So mountain lion suppression is going to remind us of myelosuppression, that all of these drugs can cause myelosuppression, which can thankfully be reversed with GCSF and erythropoietin. Another thing that we see over here is that the arrow is crushing the nephron. This is going to remind us of the nephrotoxicity, that the NRTI can cause nephrotoxicity. Finally, 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 we get to the NNRTIs. And that's represented by this E over here. He's one of the students in the class, and he's running away. So the E that's running for ethavirins. Now, he never pees, which just reminds us of nevirapine. Never pees for nevirapine. He's running towards this liver over here who's about to get squashed. This reminds us of the hepatotoxicity that these drugs can cause. Out of the ethavirins, there is this brain. And his brain is causing some weird side effects. The brain causing side effects reminds us of the CNS symptoms, such as vivid dreams. This reminds us that ephedrines can cause CNS symptoms, such as vivid dreams. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene on HIV therapy. Alrighty, take care.